Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stephanie. So as you can see, I've been gone for a month. And it was difficult for me to be gone that long. But I had a cyst on my pancreas and it had to be removed. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. I had to have a distal pandan pancreatotomy done, which is where they removed half of my pancreas with my spleen because pancreatic cancer spreads really fast and if they would have left it even draining it cutting it out it's not that simple because it can sit on a blood vessel it can sit you know very dangerously and mine was embedded in the middle of my pancreas so there was no way they could just cut it out so they had to remove that and i've just been at home healing with it and with that has brought a few complications i have diabetes now i can't get rid of it it's with me for life and it's been a learning process it's it's been a little heartbreaking having it um it's been a little hard um my vision is blurry at times so sometimes like even me sitting here it was blurry and it was you know I couldn't really see what I wanted to see sometimes so that's been a learning process for me so I just wanted to come back and just um, say, show you guys I'm okay I'm still making videos I'm I just I'm I feel like I missed out so much so I just wanted to do a look that was out of the norm for me I just wanted to have fun with this look i wanted to play with some purples and a little bit of pinks and everyone knows um well not everyone i should say people know that um purple is the color for pancreatic cancer so i just wanted to incorporate some purples with that as well so i hope you guys enjoy this look and let me guys know what you guys think about this look and it's great to be back and i will see you guys later my lips so I did this eye first and I am trying to go out of my comfort zone and that's exactly what I did with this one so and this one's actually my left eye this is the eye that you guys normally see me doing on camera so I'm gonna try to do my right eye my right eye I flipping struggle with like like no one's business I struggle and as you can see not with my normal setup i'm just coming to you guys with a bland bland background because i'm in the part process of transitioning and yeah and because like i said i've been at home for about a, three weeks now um everything is just to me my computer's right here the printer's right there everything is like in my space now so, so yeah, so let's just get started with that. So the first color, I'm going to take the Morphe 35B palette. This palette I've had for a while, I just never really used it very often. I may have used a color here and there, but I'm actually going to use the whole palette for, for this tutorial. So the first color I'm going to take is this pink and I'm just going to sweep this across my eyelid and make my eye all pretty and fucked up and I use the NYX shadow base in white because when you're doing colors like this on a dark eye you want your colors to pop so that's exactly what I'm doing here so yeah I'm gonna take my Morphe E22 brush and I'm just gonna use that pink and just pack it on the eye and sweep it there and make it all look good. And I'm gonna take it from outer corner to outer corner. So I'm not gonna try to just focus in the middle. I'm just gonna keep just going. So that's what I'm gonna do. Whoa. So, if you guys don't know, I'm not really a big bold in your face type of person sometimes. So, for me to do this is really getting out of my comfort zone. So, I'm trying here. So, it's one of those 
Life is too short to um, just stay, com you know, comfortable with what you're doing. That's life is too short for that. And I'm just my surgery made me want to try things that I've never done and just go out of my comfort zone and just have fun with life because life can be taken from me in an instant. And I just want to, you know. do it <laughs> so yeah um and as you can tell i have no eyelid my hooded eye is a mess so i'm gonna take this small space and make it big to where you can see what my eye closes so that's my goal for this look so and we're gonna do probably one more sweep and then move on to the next color oh that went on easier than i expected so I look like garage doors right now. So yeah, see how simple that was. So yeah, the next color we're gonna do is this light purple. We're just gonna take that and um, this color we're just gonna pack on the eyelid and then we're gonna buff it out eventually. So for right now, we're just gonna go in and just pat it on there and just pat we're not focusing on blending we're just going to get as much color that i want that it satisfies me and then once i have enough color that makes me happy then i'm going to go in and then just buff the heck out of it so <laughs> And for me, this is kind of hard because my vision is sometimes blurred. So I'm trying to learn how to cope with my vision being so blurry and doing my makeup. So this is actually a, a lesson learning for me. So, and you know what I forgot? If you guys can't hear me, I forgot to put on my mic. Give me a sec my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going to take and blend that color out so it's not so harsh on my lid. Okay. I'm just going to take this dark purple and then I'm just gonna swoop down the outer corners of my eye which I'm gonna create this effect right there and I'm not gonna take it anywhere else just on the outer corners and that's it so um and same thing with the last thing I'm just gonna pack it on and that's it I'm not gonna focus on blending that just yet I'm just gonna pack it you don't have to worry about it being super perfect because eventually I'm going to go and clean it up. So. Okay, next I'm going to take my naked skin concealer and this one's in dark neutral you think i memorized this shade right now because it's like one of my go-to shades and i keep buying it so but i keep acting brand new like i don't know the name of the shade is Ugh, there's hair in it okay just gonna take that and i typically don't need a lot of this one i'm just gonna do a half crease so i don't need a ton so what i do first is to when i make when i make my crease very really long I take and just go way above my crease. I find a point and then drag it down. That's pretty much what I do. I start in the middle and then I just start sweeping it over. I just start finding points and connecting the dots a little bit. I 
pain my right side. So, okay, whatever. So we're just gonna take the same dark purple. While we're letting this tacky up a little bit, we're gonna take this purple and just clean up the line. Clean up, clean up, everybody, clean up. Okay. So yeah, we're just cleaning that purple. And this is my Morphe M411 brush. This is the one I was packing that purple on at the beginning. So we just cleaned up that line, made it look a little neater. So yeah. So okay. So next we're gonna take we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a mixy here. We're gonna mix some things up and we're gonna take these two pinks from this palette. I don't know if you guys can see that. These two pinks and we're gonna put it on my eyelid. So I mean I know I could be just basic and do one color but I want both. So we're just gonna take and dab. We're just gonna just we're gonna dab both like this. And just pack it on there. Oh shoot. Okay. And this is just the base so it's not really going to be um, like the main focal point of it all because we're going to put glitter on it. And then we're going to go back in with that purple and just clean up the line a little bit if it gets a little too harsh. Yes, I'm excited. So now I'm just going to take my rag and then just clean it up a little bit. Tape. It's going to help me with my right side. It's going to help me try to get close to this. So. Yes. I love how tight that tape is. Go in with my NYX matte liquid liner. Everyone knows I love NYX. I think they're fantastic. I think they're beautiful. I think they're great. So pray for me, baby Jesus, because I'm not good at liners on this eye. went to Walmart I love Walmart so and I got some loose glitter this is not like the typical um, like round glitter this is like the more rectangular you know kind of glitter so this is not that type if you guys can see that that's the type of glitter it is so and I thought it'd be really really pretty to try a different type focus I thought it would be really cute to try a different type of glitter this time instead of, um, you know, your typical ones. And this one came in a three pack or four pack, five pack, whatever. So it came in this pack and it was like a dollar ninety seven in the craft aisle. So it's called Assorted Shakers. Six pack, great bright and sparkle. How you doing? So yeah, that's pretty much what I did. And I'm just going to take my... NYX glitter and I'm just going to put it on my arm, my hand right here and I'm going to let that get a little tacky. I'm going to let that dry for a bit and then I'm going to take two brushes. I'm going to take my Morphe M10 to put the glue on and then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics brush in number 11. I forgot which line this is for. Is it for my quartz line or or the other one? I don't remember. But we're gonna take one of these. So let's begin.
All right, now I'm gonna just gonna go in and do my foundation. I'm gonna come back and do some last minute highlights, lashes, you know, like things like that. So I'll be right back. All right, so I did my whole face and um, well, it's my face. So yeah, I did my foundation and I used a lot of the things I always use, you know. I really didn't change nothing up, I used my, you know, whatever. So I'm just gonna go in with some Ardell lashes. I love these things and I'm just gonna cut them a little bit on the sides just to make them fit. And oh my god, open. It's like harder than these fly traps. So yeah. And I'm just gonna cut them a little bit on the sides just to um, like I said, make them fit because I got itty bitty lash, I mean, you know, eyelids. And I don't have time to be trying to find no lashes, to, you know, to make one fit. Oh, Lord. Which one's which side? I'm just going to snip, like, barely a, a little bit corner off. Just to make them fit. Yeah, that's pretty much what we want them to do. We don't want them to take over the whole eyelid because, you know, like I said, they're gonna take this invisible glue that I deal as well because I'm not a fan of the white glue. And it, if like if you make a mistake, it's there until it dries or you have to wipe it up. I'm just not a fan. Like the clear, I like it because if I make a mistake, you can't tell. Even though the white dry is clear, I just feel like it takes forever. And I just don't like that. And I like how this one gets tacky a little bit faster. So, I don't have to sit here and do this for a long time. So yeah, I like that. And I like the fact that, like I said, it gets sticky really fast. So usually when I just pop them on, they stay. They just pop on. So, yeah. <laughs> cosmetic brush and then we're gonna go in with that same palette because they do have a black okay. Ooh. so we're gonna go in with this black and we're just gonna take and smoke my eye out <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this one is in Allison. Let's see. with the NYX lingerie and this one is in French made French made <laughs> Do not read me for my hair. I am not, I'm not curling this. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, but this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, um, 
like I said, I wanted to go out there and warm for this. And I just wanted to have a little bit of fun. And I used, like I said, my right side, which is not the side I normally do on camera. But I think I did a pretty good job. Everyone knows, well, I'm not going to say everybody. I keep saying that. Like, people just know me. But it's hard for me to do my right side. I'm left-handed, and there is just no way around that. And it is so hard. So, so hard. So... I hope you guys enjoy this and let me guys know if you guys want me to start doing live tutorials because like I said I'm gonna be at home and I am bored I am bored I'm not really gonna tell that lie I'm just so bored and I have one more month to go I'll be in her home so uh, yeah so um like, like I said I appreciate you guys watching this tutorial I just keep all these text messages and phone calls as I keep looking up so I appreciate you guys watching this look and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys later my love Mwah.